Jace gets through the first crash zone and rounds the curve. Grayson's waiting to strike at the gravity drop, and he does! That's huge for Grayson. It speeds through the crash zone. There are cars flying everywhere. Oh, and it drops into the bucket for another goal. That was awesome. Three, two, one, go. If Jace makes this next one, he'll really extend his lead. Yeah. Ooh, so close. Grayson got the block. We gotta see that again. And Head Gasket heads off clear speeder at the goal line. Three, two, one, go! That's a clean start for Clear Speeder. The way it drives even sounds clean. Go, go, go! Yo, let's go! Good job, Team Clear Speeder. You advance to the next round with a time of 9.5 seconds. Let's take a closer look. And it launches through the figure eight. Everything about this run feels so precise. That got some serious air on that jump. Time to clear the slate. We're moving on to the championship round. Chaz is gonna level up this track build for our next race. Three, two, one, go! It's going so fast! Go, 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 go! And into the catch bucket. Yo, let's go. Team Street Wiener completes the first track in 8.86 seconds. Let's take a look at some of those bumps. Ooh, Street Wiener's first handoff is a tasty one. That jump was sick. Linster Prototype transfers all its power to Lethal Diesel. Which sent Electro Silhouette into the catch bucket. Team Street Wiener opens the competition with a strong showing. Three, two, one, go! Looks like Grayson's first car is Clip Rock. Made it! He makes it through the first crash zone. Avoids getting crushed by Lethal Diesel. And he gets hit in the air again by Jace. One more time. Three, two, one. It gets kicked around the curve. Oh, he gets the block. Let's take another look. That collision was huge. Three, two, one, go. Grayson has one more chance to tie it up before the final round. Goal! Yeah! Grayson ties it up. Yeah! Let's see that again. Its front flipper tosses clear speeder aside. Three, two, two one. seen anything go that way. And backflips into the catch bucket. I can't believe that. That was so awesome. They dominated that track with a time of 9.38 seconds. Man, let's take a look at those replays. Street Wiener's nearly perfect off the starting launcher. Now that's classic Hot Wheels racing. The car blasted through those obstacles. Did you see that? That was awesome. This team had a strong showing on the back half of the track. Here's the final showdown. I'm ready to crown the champion. Three, two, one, go! HW Warp Speeder gets through the dino jungle. It's going so fast. Wow. It launches up the surfboard and it lands the big rig jump. What a leap. Don't stop. Can't stop. Because HW Warp Speeder's still going. Go, go, go. Will it make it? It's climbing, climbing. And HW Warp Speeder does it. It's the first car to complete the obstacle course challenge. We got to see those highlights. HW Warp Speeder is nearly perfect out of the gate. Oh, it almost hit the ball in that loop, but it barrels through. 
That jump was sick. Amazing! Bear releases the cars in the avalanche. Oh, wait, and it dodges all of them. It's climbing the Tower of Power. Look how it pops a wheel on the final climb, but look how it regains its footing and finishes the run. Go, go, go! What an amazing run! That puts HW Warp Speeder at the top of the leaderboard. some of those highlights. Scuba de Fuego blasted through the crash zones. We have red barriers flying everywhere. Ooh, that was sweet. Three, two, one, go! Oh, Electro Silhouette shocks the competition. Oh, that's a much needed block by Grayson. And with that, Jace is down to his final car of the day. Three, two, one, go! Retroactive is back in action. Grayson just lets him through the second crash zone. Oh, Grayson, you timed that perfectly. And he stops it in the final crash zone. I can't believe it. Three, two, one, go! Cloak and Dagger makes the jump. Now on to Big Rig. And there's a slowdown out of the crash zone. Oh, all the way to the catch bucket. What was the final time? What? 9.26 seconds? What a run. We got to see that again. Clear Speeder had a blazing start. Those yellow gates sent the barricades flying. These bumps are straight fire. It sticks the landing. I haven't seen anything go that fast. It crashed through the stunt barricades. Races like these get me excited to build new tracks every day. And with that, Team Clear Speeder is the bumper to bumper champion. Three, two, one, go! This one is usually a strong performer on our tracks. Let's see how it does. Whoa! Here it goes through all those loops. It blazes up the surfboard. And rockets across the big rig jump. Linster prototype hits full speed in the backyard. I can't look! It can beat HW Warp Speeder's time! Woohoo! All right! Lister Prototype, you are our obstacle course champion. Whew. Let's bask in those championship moments. What an incredible run to end that competition. Let's go! Linster Prototype did not disappoint its fans out there. Thanks for joining us for the Obstacle Course Challenge. Easy. Three, two, one, go! Donut Drifter is off. Jace is sending everything he can to make the stop. Oh, yeah! let's go! Donut scores a goal. Yeah! We gotta see that replay. Grayson ties it up with a chance to win. Grayson wins with just one more goal. Three, two, one. T-Rex Destroyer rocks through the first crash zone. It stomps its way through the red barricades. Yeah, yeah what a goal. Yeah. That makes Grayson the winner. I, I can't even believe this. That was the most insane finish we've had yet. T-Rex Troyer is the MVC, the most valuable car in the Crash Course Challenge. And that means that Grayson is our Crash Course Champion. Way to go, Grayson. What a day, what a track. What a competition. A special thanks goes out to Jace and Grayson for building with us today. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Labs Unlimited. What type of Crash Course can you build? The possibilities are unlimited. Demo Derby takes a big lead over... 
It's moving so fast I can barely keep